Church. Good morning, Father. God is good. And all the time, God is good. can you please tell the person sitting beside you, God bless your new year. God bless your new year. Church, how many of you expect to be blessed this new year? Oh, almost all. <laughs> expect to be blessed. huh? But I think Holy Mother Church has, in her wisdom, has given us the template of the mother of God as a, uh, you know, a template of blessing throughout the new year. You know, the way she trusted in Jesus, in God, her father, in the Holy Spirit. You know, remember her first fiat, that is a Latin word for her first yes to Jesus, uh, to, the, to the archangel Gabriel when it pronounced, you know, this divine plan, you know, for her as a 14-year-old girl, not knowing, uncertain of the future of what will happen, or even carrying a baby, she trusted. Huh? Uh, the title of my talk today is The Best Year Ever. Let it be. The Best Year Ever. Let it be. Living a life of trust, living a life of trust. Can we read the whole thing, please? The best, the best year, year ever, ever. Let, let it be, living a life of trust. trust. Church, did you notice that sometimes when you are, especially when you are under stress, even though you have eight hours of sleep, when you wake up in the morning, you're still tired? Did you notice that? Huh? Uh, especially when you were partying last night? I know. <laughs> While Father Mario was asleep. <laughs> or sometimes you go on vacation. And then after a vacation, you need a vacation from the vacation. Right? Huh? Uh, you, you know, it, it, it seems to me that when we are looking for happiness, we are always looking for happiness in the wrong places. Huh? Let, let me give you a formula of happiness. The next slide, please. The next, is, there you go. The mother of happiness is gratitude. The father of happiness is forgiveness. And their child is generosity. Can we say all these things together? The mother of happiness is gratitude. The father of happiness is forgiveness. And their child is generosity. You know, how many of you know people that are grateful? Raise up your hand. Huh? Aren't these people, these grateful people that you know, happy people? Huh? It is not the happy people that are grateful. It is the grateful people that are happy. Huh? When you say thank you, isn't there some kind of an instinctual happiness that comes in you? Even in the most simple stuff, like your mom after dinner. Thanking her. When was the last time you did that? <clears throat> or your spouse. When was the last time you thanked them? Huh? When was the last time you thanked God before you went to bed? Or for that beautiful nap? Or for the snow that's coming today? <laughs> you know, our, our uh, opening hymn should, it, should be, Let it snow. Because Father Mario has been waiting for this snow. <laughs> huh? For simple stuff. Or when you are being served at the table by your waiter, every time he approaches you, do you say thank you? Ah, because you know what? I, I observe this very well. Not a lot do. It is so true in my life you know, the parable of Jesus. Remember, not the parable, the true story of the 10 lepers that were cleansed. Remember this? Huh? How many of those 10 lepers came back to say thank you? One. One. And isn't this true in our life? Seldom do we say this word. But yet, when we live a life of gratitude, you know, we are happy. And what else makes us happy? Forgiveness. Church, does resentment make you happy? No. Huh? No. 
You know, when I am resentful, I eat more than what I usually do. <laughs> And it's not good for my health. I go often to Oberweiss by myself. <laughs> and I think, oh, Lord, I'm just giving myself a treat. No. When, when, when you live a life of, you know, not being able to say either I'm sorry or I forgive you, you are blocking every blessing that God wants to pour upon your lap, every blessing, even your very self. You know this, right? You know, when unforgiveness, resent, being resentful, is one of the major causes of heart attacks. You know this, right? Huh? Just Google it. Heart attack and unforgiveness. You're going to get a lot of studies out there. But look at generosity too, the child of gratitude and forgiveness. How many of you know very generous people? I do. And aren't they so happy? I mean, especially our grandparents. How many of your grandparents that are very generous? <laughs> I, I do, I do. <laughs> you know, I, I, I. I have these grandparents. They're not really my grandparents, uh, but since my grandparents were here in the United States uh, for 30 years, when you know that I did not really know them daily, you know, I I I, I have these godparents of my mom that became my my like grandparents, and and so uh, when they drop me off from school, the school bus, they will drop me off these grandparents that I have. And every time that I come home, there's always a pork chop waiting for me. <laughs> and these people are poor. But yet they will sit there looking at me as I am devouring my pork chop. <laughs> and they're just so happy. They gave and they gave and they gave. And they were poor. And I know them as the most happiest people that I have known in my life. Church, this is the formula of happiness that I give to you today. Gratitude plus forgiveness plus generosity equals a life of trust in God. Equals a life of of trust in God. Can we say these things together? Gratitude plus forgiveness plus generosity equals a life of trust in God. This is Mary. The Theotokos, the God bearer. You want to have God within you to be pregnant with the presence of the Lord Jesus? Because to be pregnant with the presence of the Lord Jesus is to trust God, even though we don't know what 2022 will bring. We don't know the sorrows and the joys. We don't know the trials and the successes. We don't know what will happen to our faith, to our family, to our friends, even to our very own body. But yet, when we trust God and say these words, Jesus, I trust in you. Whew. That is so powerful. Jesus, I trust in you. Can we say those words together? Jesus, Jesus I, trust I trust in you. If there is only one prayer that you need this year, that's the prayer. That's the prayer. Let it be. Let it be. Can we bow our heads? If your loved one is here, please hold their hand. Let's thank God for 2021. Thank God for how he blessed our faith in 2021. Thank God for how he blessed our family in 2021. And thank God for how he blessed our friends in 2021. And as we say, Jesus, I trust in you. 
we give him 2022 expecting to be blessed that he would never leave us in times of joy and sorrow of pain trial tribulation but of also success of happiness that he will always be there for us like he was there with the mother of god our blessed mother mary let's say this three times jesus i trust in you 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 when i find myself in times of trouble mother mary comes to me speaking words of wisdom let it be if you know the song sing with me and in my hour of darkness she is standing there in front of me speaking words of wisdom let it be let it be let it be let it be let it be, let it be. there will be an answer there will be an answer let it be 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 god is my answer god is my answer let it be